Hi everybody, this is Eugene Lee Show, and today I'd like to uh, show you a little bit how you can use Cloud Simax to create a roadway profile. And this can be useful in accident reconstruction whenever you are uh, faced with a design issue on the roadway or where there's been a serious accident and you just need to rebuild the mesh uh, or the roadway uh, to a mesh from a point cloud. So I'm starting from scratch and I'm going to show you how we can do some stuff here. Uh, by bringing in a point cloud using Cloud Simax. So on the geometry tab, click down, Cloud Simax, point cloud, click here, and we're going to load a file that I have. It's a small section of roadway that I had um, already uh, converted to C2M format. So when you load up uh, text files, XYZ, PTS, uh, you can resave those out as C2M, and it's an optimized format, so it'll uh, work a little bit better. So here I have a, a section of roadway, and just to show you that you can manipulate this like a regular max object, you can do things like adjust the pivot point, so I can center it to the object, and you see it just the gizmo just uh, came up here to the center, and I can also uh, translate this and rotate and scale. Now by default, scale is off, but I'm going to set this down to the uh, home plane down here, or the base grid uh, down at 0, 0, 0. Uh, the tool that the two tools that I would like to use are going to be the limit box and also the snap tools. So the uh, limit box you can find in the helpers tab and drop down menu, Klaus Max, limit box, and just click and drag and you can see that I've created a limit box. Now what I would like to do with this limit box is if I put it over here, I'm going to rotate it a little bit so it aligns more uh, with the road. And I'm also going to go into local mode and I'm going to scale this, oops, scale this down this way. So you can see I have a very small section of roadway, right? Okay. So now from here, what I can do is turn the snaps on and I'm going to right click. You'll see that grid points is on. I'm going to turn that off. I don't want to snap to any grid points. I just want to have the point cloud, cloud Simax on. So this way I'm not snapping to anything else. And I'm also going to go into the shapes line. Snaps is selected. So now I should be able to start um, drawing a line and like this. So I'm just going to start from here, start clicking on things. Now there is grass in here, so it could be um, a little bit uh, of a problem. Uh, but what I'm going to do is sort of uh, select the points more or less uh, in similar locations between all the splines. But I'm just going to do one now, but it's usually a good idea to do that, especially if you're uh, creating geometry. And let's see, maybe a point there. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Modify tab, and I'm going to make this thing yellow. And I'm also going to I'm also going to make it renderable and give it a size here. So I'll say 0.1 so you can really see it. And let me rotate this a bit. There we go. Okay, so you can see the spline follows the roadway quite well, and that's how you would do uh, really the process. You just do it over and over and over. But I'll do one more just to show you. Uh, what I'm going to do is select the limit box again, and I'm going to translate this down the road. So I'm just going to uh, let me take, shut the snaps off so I don't do anything funny here. And you see as I move it, it moves down the road, and I'll just I'll pick a point about here. Uh, yeah, that should work. Something like that. And I just do the same thing over again. So I'm going to go back to the line tool, snap selected, and I'm going to start to select points here. Like that, like that, like that. And in case you're wondering, to move the screen, I'm actually selecting or using the I key. And that actually centers uh, the position of the cursor. And uh, if you try to use the uh, pan tools and such, uh, it actually won't work. It'll actually uh, stop the tool. And I'm just going to go like that. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to shut the snaps off again. Uh, probably what I'll do is I'll bring up the layers and I will shut off the limit box so you can see the whole point cloud. And this other, uh, let's see, I'll go up to the modify tab. I'll turn make this yellow as well just so we can see both of them easier. Okay, that's better. So I've got them both here. You can see them. Uh, they're lying on the point cloud qu quite well. So if you want to make a mesh terrain or a mesh uh, roadway, what you can do now is um, go into the geometry tab again. And actually, I'm going to shut off the point cloud just to make this easier. It's more visible. So I've got just the two splines here. I'm going to select them both. 
And now what I'll do is in the geometry tab, I'm going to go to compound objects and terrain. Just hit terrain and I'm going to show you the mesh or the triangulation. And I've got a mesh between the uh, the two lines, so which you know should match up quite well with the roadway. So um, let's just give this a shot and see what happens if we turn the point cloud back on. And you can see I have pretty good, um, pretty good matching here between the the mesh and the roadway. Now here there's something going on, and I may have I may have selected a bad point. Of course I'm doing this kind of quickly here, but um, I think you get the point. Um, it's rather tedious if you're doing this. Um, uh, you know, for a very, very long stretch of roadway. However, it does work. It's simple, and uh, once you create the final terrain, it's uh, very fast, and then you can then export it out into another uh, piece of software. So that's it uh, for how to use CloudSmax to create roadway profiles, and thank you very much.